Hi, welcome back to Barbecue Life UK. My name's Tom, and today we're making smoked butternut squash soup. So I've peeled the butternut squash and the carrots, taken the skin off the onions, and cut everything in half. It's really simple to remove the seeds, just run a teaspoon round and they'll pop straight out. Made up this seasoning, it's got wonderful earthly flavours and a little punch of cayenne pepper. So just sprinkle the seasoning all over the butternut squash, making sure to cover all sides. So I'm using the minion method today, I've got briquettes around the outside and a lump in the middle to start everything off. I'm just going to add a couple of chunks of silver birch for a nice smoky flavour. So I've got all the vegetables on the grill for an indirect cook. I'm going to put it on for an hour and then come back and check and see how it's doing. After an hour, I wasn't as far along as I wanted to be, so I quartered the butternut squash, opened all the vents up to increase the temperature to speed this cook up. After another hour, everything had softened up and cooked through. It's time to take it off the smoker, take it indoors, get it chopped up into a saucepan ready to make this soup. So we just need to cube all the vegetables up into about half inch cubes. So into a saucepan I've added some vegetable stock and the garlic. So that's been simmering away for a couple of minutes. We're just going to add the onion in. Next I add in the carrots, these have caramelised lovely in the smoker, taking on a wonderful flavour. Now we're going to add the butternut squash, and then we just fill it with stock to cover the vegetables and let it simmer for 5 minutes. So that's been simmering away for 5 minutes, it's time to take it out of the saucer and put it into the blender. When you add your mixture to the blender, make sure to use a spoon. Don't just pour it in from the saucepan in case you splash any hot liquid anywhere and burn yourself. Just blend that down until it's smooth. I've added the soup back into the saucepan just for another five minutes just to thicken up. That was fun. I took all my gear outside, camera, lighting, only for my neighbour to start sawing uh, with an electric saw, so I've had to bring everything back indoors. I don't like doing the end of the videos standing in front of the clock. I like to do them out in the shack, but the audio is just not going to be able to be heard, which is a shame. Anyway, let's give this a try. That's really nice. There's more spice than I expected with that quarter of a teaspoon of... Um, can pepper. It's not overpowering. It is it's nice. I've added a small amount of cream just to the top of mine. That's how I'm going to serve it tonight. Yeah, that's really, really nice. It's such an easy cook to do as well. If you've got you have a meat on the go, you can just put this off to one side. And it's ideal as a starter, which is what I'm using it for tonight. So you've got your pork butter, your brisket going on the side. Nice smoked starter to begin with, always adds to the evening. If you like what we're doing here at Barbecue Life UK, then please do like the video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you very much to all of our new subscribers. We get more and more popular with each video I put out, which is a great thing. And thank you very much for watching.